Second PUC Economics, Chapter 1 Introduction to Microeconomics, 1 Mark Questions and Answers, 1. Choose the correct answer. Question 1. The scarce resources of an economy have a. Competing usages, b. Single usages, c. Unlimited usages, d. None of the above. Answer a. Competing usages. Question 2. Which of the following is an example of microeconomic study? a. National income, b. Consumer behavior, c. Unemployment, d. Foreign trade. Answer b. Consumer behavior. Question 3. Which of the following is a macroeconomic variable? a. Individual demand. b. Aggregate demand. c. Firm's output. d. Price of a good. Answer. b. Aggregate demand. Question 4. Central problems of an economy includes. a. What to produce. b. How to produce. c. For whom to produce. d. All of the above. Answer. d. All of the above. Question 5. Traditionally, the subject matter of economics has been studied under the following broad branches. a. Micro and macroeconomics. b. Positive and normative. c. Deductive and inductive. d. None of the above. Answers. a. Micro and macroeconomics. Question 6. PPC curve is also known as a. Demand curve. b. Supply curve. c. Transformation curve. d. Indifference curve. Answer. C. Transformation curve. Question 7. Scarcity is a situation in which A. People are poor. B. People are rich. C. Wants exceed the resources available to satisfy them. D. Something is wasted. Answer. C. Wants exceed the resources available to satisfy them. Question 8. Which of the following is not a subject matter of microeconomics? A. Pricing theory. B. Monetary policy. C. Market structure. D. Consumer behavior. Answer. B. Monetary policy. Question 9. The various combinations of good that can be produced in an economy when it uses its available resources and technology efficiently are depicted by A. Demand curve. B. Production possibility curve. C. Supply curve. D. Product curve. Answer. B. Production possibility curve. Question 10. Labor intensive technology is chosen in our underscore blank economy. A. Developed economy. B. Developing economy. C. Underdeveloped economy. D. Labor surplus economy. Answer. D. Labor surplus economy. Question 11. Capital intensive technology is chosen in A. Blank underscore economy. A. Underdeveloped economy. B. Developed economy. C. Capital surplus economy. D. Labor surplus economy. Answer. C. Capital surplus economy. Question 12. Which of the following is not one of the three central problems that the study of economics is supposed to answer? A. Who produces what? B. Who consumes what? C. When are goods produced? D. How are goods produced? Answer. C. When are goods produced? Question 13. Which of the following is a reason for the concave shape of PPF? A. Diminishing MOC. B. Constant MOC. C. Increasing MOC. D. All of the above. Answer. C. Increasing MOC. Question 14. Raja. My sugarcane harvest this year is poor. Krishna. Don't worry. Price increases will compensate for fall in quantity supplied. Vijay. Climate affects crop yields. Some years bad, others are good. Mayur. The government ought to guarantee that our income will not fall. In this conversation, the normative statement is made by A. Raja. B. Krishna. C. Vijay. D. Mayur. Answer. D. Mayur. Question 15. With an advancement in technology, the PPC will A. Shift rightwards. B. Shift leftwards. C. Rotate on X axis. D. Rotate on Y axis. Answer. A. Shift rightwards. Question 16. What to produce means A. Types of goods to be produced. B. Quantity of goods to be produced. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. Answer. C. Both A and B. 17. Question 17. Identify the correct statement. A. In deductive method, logic proceeds from particular to the general. B. Micro and macroeconomics are interdependent. 
See, in a capitalist economy, the economic problems are solved by planning commission. D. Higher the prices, lower is the quantity demanded of a product is a normative statement. Answer. B. Micro and macro economics are interdependent. Question 18. Economic goods are considered scarce resources because they a. Cannot be increased in quantity. b. Do not exist in adequate quantity to satisfy social requirements. c. Are of primary importance in satisfying social requirements. d. Are limited to man-made goods. Answer. b. Do not exist in adequate quantity to satisfy social requirements. Question 19. From the national point of view which of the following indicates micro-approach? a. Per capita income of India. b. Underemployment in agricultural sector. C. Lockout in telco. D. Total savings in India. Answer. C. Lockout in telco. Question 20. In a free market economy the allocation or resources is determined by A. Votes taken by consumers. B. A. Central planning authority. C. Consumer preference. D. The level of profits of firms. Answer. C. Consumer preference. Question 21. Which of the following bundles of goods cannot be produced with the resources the economy currently has? A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. Answer. D. D. Question 22. An economy achieves productive efficiency when A. Resources are employed in their most highly valued uses. B. The best resources are employed. C. The total number of goods produced is greatest. D. Goods and services are produced at least cost and no resources are wasted. Answer. D. Goods and services are produced at least cost and no resources are wasted. Question 23. Which point on the PPF shows a productively efficient level of output? A. A. B. B. C. C. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question 24. Which of the following clearly represents a movement toward greater productive efficiency? A. A movement from point A to point B. B. A movement from point C to point D. C. A movement from point F to point C. D. A movement from point A to point B. Answer. C. A movement from point F to point C. Question 25. Which of the following illustrates a decrease in unemployment using the PPF? A. A movement down along the PPF. B. A rightward shift of the PPF. C. A movement from a point on the PPF to a point inside the PPF. D. A movement from a point inside the PPF to a point on the PPF. Answer. D. A movement from a point inside the PPF to a point on the PPF. Question 26. Choice is created by the A. Abundance of resources. B. Urgency of needs. C. Non-availability of resources. D. Scarcity of resources. Answer. D. Scarcity of resources. Question 27. The branch of economic theory that deals with the problem of allocation of resources is A. Microeconomic theory. B. Macroeconomic theory. C. Econometrics. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Microeconomic theory. Question 28. Which of the following is related to microeconomics? A. Inflation in the economy. B. Problem of unemployment. C. National income. D. Income from the railways. Answer. D. Income from the railways. Question 29. In free market economy, the allocation of resources is determined by A. Votes taken by consumers. B. A. Central planning authority. C. Consumer preference. D. The level of profits of firms. Answer. C. Consumer preference. Question 30. Central economic problems are the problems of our underscore blank. A. Market economy. B. Socialist economy. C. Mixed economy. D. All of these. Answer. D. All of these. Question 31. Best shape of PPC reflects. A. Diminishing opportunity cost. B. Constant opportunity cost. C. Increasing opportunity cost. D. None of these. Answer. A. Diminishing opportunity cost. Question 32. According to economic growth, production possibility curve will show A. A downward shift. B. An inward shift. C. An outward shift. D. No effect. Answer. C. An outward shift.